it's Helen from Journal with Purpose and welcome to my latest video. Today I'm going to be doing some journaling pages inside my plain traveller size notebook insert. And I keep this inside my vintage light cover from Start Bay Notebooks. And the journal pages I'm going to be working on today are going to have kind of quite an art journal-y type feel to them. And there's two reasons to that really. One, my Patreon challenge. Each month on Patreon I release a creative challenge and during November it was all about art journaling. And I am going to be sharing a flip through of this very soon. But I really loved these pages and I had a few questions on Patreon about how I created them. So I'm going to use this kind of as my inspiration. And also in my new book, there's quite a few pages on art journaling and I get more requests about tutorials for these pages probably than anything else. But if you've got a copy of the book and there's anything in there you're interested in seeing me kind of create step by step um, on YouTube, then just let me know. I'm more than happy to do it. Now with Tomo River paper, it is quite thin. So I'm gonna want to make sure that I protect this page really nicely. So I'm going to start off by putting down a thin layer of the Daily Rowner Rowney acrylic gesso. And watercolor does work really well on Tomo River paper, but I'm gonna be adding a lot. So I just want to toughen those pages up a little bit. So I'm gonna use quite an old brush because gesso can do funny things to them though they're not too bad if you wash them out quickly and I'm just going to put a thin layer going almost to the edge of the page I've dried off that coat of gesso just using my heat tool and I'm now going to start mixing up some of the watercolour paints that I want to use. The set of paints that I'm using is the Kurataki Ganzai Tambi and I'm going to stick with the same colour palette that I used when I was doing my art journaling because I thought those colours looked really beautiful together. And I think if you have got this set of paints, the numbers that I used last time were number 57 which is kind of a beautiful teal colour number 62 and number 61 just so that if you have got these same paints and want to follow along you can pick the same colors as well So now I've mixed up the paint colours, I'm going to just start adding them onto my page. And I'm not going to, there's no kind of rhyme or reason to where I'm adding them. And one of the things I do love about using gesso as a background is it causes quite an interesting effect within the watercolour paint because you pick up the kind of brush strokes and imperfections and that's one of the things I absolutely love. So not only does it give you that kind of protection for your pages, I always think it's just really interesting as well how the paint kind of behaves on top of it. And you might find it pools in certain places, which it kind of does with Tomo River paper anyway, because it's so thin, it's going to wrinkle up a little bit. And I absolutely love that. 
and when I've started, well, I'll start drying it in a moment with a heat tool. If I find there's any big pug, uh, sort of puddles of paint on the page, then I may well blot some of them off using tissue. And again, that gives quite an interesting effect if you've had a lot of paint in one particular area and then you lift some of it off using a dry cloth or tissue. Again, it just adds really to the kind of interesting look to your background. And I was really pleased because we focused on art journaling last month on Patreon. It's probably the most art journaling I've done in a long, long time because the challenge was to try and create something every day. I had a couple of days where I missed, but I did catch up on them. So they were mainly quite small projects and pages that I was doing, but it was something that encouraged me to relax and get my supplies out nearly every day and it was just so welcome actually during last month because it was a bit of a funny month in lots of ways so it was wonderful encouraging myself to get everything out and try new techniques and just have fun with it not worry about the process and it's also given me ideas for my other journal pages as well. So I love that it's kind of all marbling at the moment. So as I mentioned, I'm just gonna dry that off and perhaps lift up any big puddles of paint that I'm struggling to dry. Actually, I've just made another decision before I dry them. I feel that pale blue, that can't have been the color I used last time. So I just wanna add something a bit darker on top because I'm gonna be using some white paint pens for details. I want to make sure that they're going to be able to stand out really nicely. So I'm using number 66 from this set of paints just to make sure that that contrast is going to be really nice and strong. Okay, I'm yeah, I'm happy with that. <laughs> and now I'm definitely gonna dry my pages. The next thing I'm gonna do is add some stamping as a background. And I've got this set of stamps from Dilusions called Around the Edge by Diane Reevely. And I got mine from Art From The Heart in the UK. This is the stamp that I've decided I want to use and I'm going to use some black stays on ink. And I really like these stamps, they're rubber, nice and bendy so you can kind of play with the placement. But I don't mind at all if some of mine come slightly outside of the kind of rectangle that I've painted. In fact I may even encourage just some little bits to come along the outside. I'm just going to press that down to try and get as clean a print as I can. I've really enjoyed playing with this stamp set. I've probably only had it about a month and I've used it on so many of my journal pages. I love how there's kind of like a little bit of text in some of the leaves. I'm just playing around with where I place the stamp to get some different heights. And so this will be part of the background. I'm gonna add some other details on top. And I'm gonna add one more set of stamping along the edge here. Something I'm really determined is I know how busy December's going to be, but I don't want to let kind of all of my creative fun go by the wayside. So I'm determined to try and make some time for little bits of creativity just about every day. Cause I think it helps calm my mind so much. So I really want to give it some priority during the month. Okay, so I'm really happy I've got that now as my background. And the next thing I'm gonna do is start adding some 
flowers and leafy doodles on top and for this I'm going to be using a white Uni Posca paint pen. I had to do a couple of layers of the paint pen and it always works best if you let the layers dry because then you can start building layers on top and I could carry on and get a more perfect white on top if I wanted but I like the fact that some of the paint is still kind of showing through and I'm going to make those images stand out now. And I'm using a Staedtler Mars Lumograph black pencil in 6B. But I mean, you could definitely use a black pen for this if you prefer. And I'm gonna outline as well my painted rectangle. I love these pencils. They're really dark and bold. You can use them over, well, pretty much any medium I've tried using them on top of. They've stood it out really well. So I'm doing that to kind of make that image really bold, the shape of the rectangle. But so I'm also gonna use it to outline my flowers and leaves. And that will really help the white to stand out along the back against the background as well. So I'm just going to take a few moments now to carry on with all of my outlining. So now added all of the black outlines and details. I'm really happy with how well they're now standing out against that background. And because we're now in December, I want to add some little sparkly bits as well. So I'm using some Pentel metallic pens. So I've now added some really small little sparkly details. I'm not sure how well you can see those, but it's definitely uh, reached that month of the year where I'll probably end up adding a little bit of sparkle to everything. And now on the opposite page, I'm gonna use some of this washi tape from London Gifties. I thought it'd go really nicely with it because it's got some blues in there, also some leaves on the background, and on this side, some sparkly gold bits. 
So I'm now going to start off by adding my date and then I'm going to add a quote on my page as well. And for this I'm using a Tombow Furunosuke brush pen with a firm nib. And actually I should have said this pen and my Poscas and the pencils, um, they all came from Colt pens. And this is my absolute favourite brush pen to use. So that's my quote added and that's kind of the way I want to set the tone for the month is finding the calm in the chaos. I absolutely love December and there's just so many fun challenges going on in different kind of journaling communities. Plus though, of course, there's all the work to do in terms of preparing. I haven't organised anything for Christmas yet, but I'm really excited about my daughter coming home. But I want to make sure that I enjoy every moment, but also find plenty of little pockets of calm throughout the month too. And I thought before I add my journal writing, it'd be quite nice to bring in a little bit of stamping to help tie this page in to the other one. So I'm going to try and just pick up the top leaf on it here and hopefully stamp that across there and then add one underneath as well and that's something I often like to do on my journal pages is just try and tie things in together a little bit okay I'm really happy with that so I'm now going to get on and add my journal writing for kind of how I want to set the tone for the month. And for this, I'm gonna be using a black Muji gel pen. The very final thing that I'm going to do to my journal is just add a little bit of paint inside these leaves. I thought that would help tie it in even more. So I've still got some paint there in my palette. So I just want to add some of that in. And both of the paint brushes that I've used are from a Skoda brushes. I'm just gonna drop a little bit of that darker blue into both of those as well. well I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video and it's given you some ideas for your own journals. As always, I want to say a massive thank you to everybody who's joined me over on Patreon. I appreciate you so much. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you're doing really well and I look forward to speaking with you really soon in my next video.